as Ole Zing here and this video is going to be a 4x4 first two centers advanced tutorial with Yao. So one thing to note, I'm color neutral for the first two centers and Yao. So if that confuses you, like for example if you do white center and I'm doing orange, let me know in the comment section and I can help you out with that. So most people know that first two centers is a pretty easy step but in this video I'm going to be showing you some little tips and tricks that will make your first two centers faster, more efficient, more effective, just in general better. Most of this can be applied to reduction, but one section in the video is only for Yao, so just keep that in mind. So for this first example, I'm going to be doing blue center, because we have these three already done, and we have one in the top layer. So this is going to be an example of pairing up part of the second center, which is going to be green, while solving the first center. So as you'd know with this case, you have three on the bottom, one here. You could just do U, R2, U prime R2, get the center. But that doesn't really do anything for the greens, does it? Nope. So I see this green here, right there, and this green right there. And as I'm doing the U, that doesn't really do anything, but if I do a small U, it makes a pair out of these. And as I'm solving the rest of the center, I get a free pair out of it, and I can just solve that afterwards. But another thing you can do is as you're solving the first center, you can cancel into solving the second center. So U, you have this pair here, then R2, U prime, then you could do R prime, then as you're putting this back, you get this out of the way, so U2, then bring it back, like so. So you have the blue center done, and half of the green center done, which is opposite of blue. For this example, I'll be doing yellow center. I have this pre-made block already. This yellow is here, and this yellow right here. And I see these two whites here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pair them up as I'm pairing these two yellows up. So to solve this center you just do R prime, make a blah, block, put it in. That doesn't do much for the white center, does it? But to pair these two up, as I'm pairing these two up, I'm going to start by doing a D2. And what that does is that puts this here and leaves this where it was. So when I do R prime to pair these two up, I'm going to get this pair and this pair. And then as I'm inserting these two, like that, the whites are still there. And in this case, they solved themselves, which is pretty cool. Sometimes it's not as easy as that, though. For this example, I'm going to do uh, blue. No, I'll do white. Because I've got, I mean, yellow. I've got these two yellows done here, and the other two yellow pieces are right here and right here. But I've also got this white block already made, which is pretty nice. But if I just solve these like normal, which would probably be U2R, that breaks up the two whites, which is not good. So what I would do first is a setup move, just a U up here, and then I'd pair these two up, then insert it. So that gives me the yellow center, and then part of the second center to just solve immediately. Now sometimes you might not be able to plan that far ahead, you can only plan the first center. And hey, that happens to me sometimes as well. So when that happens, you want to do the second center as efficiently as possible. And, yeah, just efficiently as possible. So for this case, I've got red already solved. And here's this common case where you have an orange in the top and an orange in the E layer, the equator. And there's a few ways you can solve this that are good to know. When the orange is here and here, like this, very close together, you can do L prime U two L to make the bar like that. But if the orange piece is down here, you can just do L prime U prime L to make the bar. And if the orange piece is here, like diagonal, where you just make the one move block, you can just do R, U, R prime. 
When the piece is here, however, like this, you can't really do much. So you would just have to set it up to one of these cases here, like that. Okay, so I've got, here's another thing to keep in mind for the second center. Be good at, you know, deductive reasoning. So I'm looking for white pieces. There's one on the top. It's not on the front, right, or left. So the other three white pieces have to be on the back, which they are. So efficiency and deductive reasoning are both very helpful when doing the second center, like so. Here's a cool trick for doing first two centers. Sometimes in a scramble you'll have this done. You'll have like white bar and yellow bar, two opposite colors like this. What you can do is you can treat this as a solved center and then you can solve either the white center or the yellow center while solving half of the yellow center or the white center. So in this case I'm going to do white center while solving half of the yellow center. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to treat this like a solved center for now and I'm going to pair up these two, these two whites in the top layer and I want to make sure that they're solved opposite of the white bar, like this. So we have whites in the left and whites in the right. But instead of just doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do RU and then just R because then I get this whole center solved and then half of this center solved. And then another way to apply that this isn't always recommended, but it can be pretty cool to do sometimes. So for this scramble, we have blue bar already made and green bar already made. So I can make this into a pseudo center with just one move, which in this case I'll just make it F or R. I'll do R. So R makes this pseudo center. And then I'm going to solve blue while solving half of green by doing that to pair them up, if you didn't already see. This blue here, this blue here. And then as I'm solving it into the top layer, I make sure that it's going to end up on the right, because this bar's on the left, which it is, so I can just do L prime U2, and then L prime. So I've got this center, and then half of the green center. So all those tricks I just showed you can apply to reduction and Yao. This next trick, however, is only going to apply to Yao users. So let's say you're looking for your first center. You found these yellows here, whoop de doo But you also found this yellow edge pair. And whenever the first center is like, best first center you can find has an edge pair already made, what I like to do is preserve it by first attaching it to the pre-made bar, like that and then solving the rest of the center. So this yellow is here, this yellow is here, just solve it like that. So you have the first center done with an orange and yellow edge pair. And then when solving the rest of the second center, you have to be really careful not to break this apart, which can be tricky at first, but once you get used to it, it's definitely a worthwhile trick knowing. So I'll just do that now. So I have this bar. Instead of just doing that, that totally screws up the orange and yellow. So I'd start by doing a D prime. And then this piece is, this space is like, let's call it a buffer, I guess. Because if the buffer's solved here, then it's going to get messed up. This is a good buffer. So solve that. And the rest of it, the buffer's not going to be affected. So you have first two centers, then this edge pair already made. So that can make transitioning from first two centers to three cross edges quite easy. To finish the video, I'm just going to do a first two centers walk through solve. So what I would do in this situation. Okay, I see white, I see yellow, and they're opposite colors, so I'm probably going to work with that. Okay, um, let's see. I see this yellow here, and this yellow here, so I can pair those up quite easily. And I'm going to preserve this and solve it as well. So I just do U prime R2, rotate, move this out of the way so that when I do R prime, this half of the center is solved. And then the last two pieces are here and here. 
So just pair them up. And then as I'm doing that, I see this blue pair already made. So that's first two centers. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below because I'm not the best at explaining things, especially something as broad as first two centers. So I hope it helped, and 